Hello everyone, I'm going to explain uh, the example from reference book. So, uh, figure 2.13 is showing this uh, circuit. Uh, I'm going to explain how we can drive the relationship between the input and output. So this is the reference book. So we want to find the relationship between our input which is V or our uh, voltage supply and output which is the voltage across the capacitor so the, the circuit that we have in this example has a voltage supply V uh, given to a very uh, simple circuit has resistor R and inductor L and then we have capacitor C and they are all in a circuit. We don't have any junction. So the current that flows through all of them, we assume it is I. So if we call the current through the resistor IR, that is same as I and if we call the current through the inductor IL, IL is equal to I. And if we call the current through the capacitor IC, IC is also equal to I. So we know that I is equal to IR equal to IL equal to IC. So far we are not using the Kirchhoff second law. But if we look at the uh, differential um, potential dif uh, difference or uh, the voltage across all of them we are looking at case of second law so we are going to write that law so I'm going from this direction and put everything equal to my input so my input is V is equal to the voltage across the uh, resistor so that is VR plus the voltage across the um, inductor VL and then we have our output which is the voltage across the capacitor VC now from the uh, equations that we talked about them before and you can look at them on table so there is a table on page 45 I bring it a bit closer that concludes all the relationships of uh, a little bit brighter and probably we need out of focus okay so that is a little bit better now the relationships between the currents and voltages and the uh, constants of each component are explained uh, in a very concluded way in this table, table 2.2, page 45. So, based on this information, I can write the current that is uh, flowing through the capacitor, IC, is equal to I, and it is equal to C, 3 dt bar, rate of change of the voltage, VC, over time and then uh, we have also another thing that happens and which I'm going to explain in a minute but from here I want to see how uh, derivative of both side uh, would give me so if I do derivative on both sides of this I will have derivative of I over time and here I will have the constant C coming out so I'm factoring it out and then I will have derivative of derivative of C over time over time and then that will give me the C second derivative of the C voltage across the voltage across the capacitor so I keep that. I'm going to use that uh, to put it inside this equation that I have.
Now, uh, so this uh, this is a uh, useful. Another thing that I know uh, about, you know, uh, my my aim is to have an equation that in one side is my input and in the other side um, the only variable that I have is VC the rest are uh, constant or they are first or second derivative of my output that is the plan for doing that I'm going to replace uh, VR and VL so about VR I know that my VR is equal to my current multiply in my resistance and about my VL what do I know about VL think a little bit about it so if I want to refer to the table so you would see that the relationship of the voltage across inductor has really this equation is constant L in derivative of uh, the current over time. So I can make use of that equation. So my VL is equal to L derivative of I over time. That is useful because I'm going to replace that. Doesn't look like I have good focus here. Okay. So I'm going to use that derivative of all i over t uh, with what I have here, down here. I'm going to use i like that to make that a little bit more related. So here, what I have is uh, the relationship of the voltage and i, the current, and here. I have the relationship of the derivative of i, exactly the same thing that I have here, and vc. So I'm going to replace that over there, and I'm going to replace um, the, uh, the, the i r here, and then I'm going to uh, make sure that I have only vc uh, on the right side of that equation. So, um, one important thing is also here, the i can be replaced from this equation. Okay, so I'm going to put that here, and I'm going to put this one here. Let's see how this one looks like. I'm going to rewrite this one after all the replacements. So my input V is equal to, so instead of VR, uh, I could write IR, and instead of my VL, I could write L, derivative of I over time, and instead of my uh, VC, I just leave it as it is. Now I'm going to replace the I here and di over dt here so what i will have is from here i is equal to c dvc over dt so r stays out and i have the c here and then i have dvc over dt now here i have the constant l um, stays outside and then um, Instead of derivative of i over t, I'm going to replace it with this one. So I have a, another constant here, so lc, and then I have second derivative of dvc over dt2, and then I have the vc same here. So this will be the final equation for this example. You can uh, pay attention here. Uh, so I have input or my v voltage supply my input here on the left side and on the right side everything is related to VC or some order of its derivative and the rest are uh, constant so R is constant C is constant 
Alice comes in and another C is also constant. So that would be the answer for this example. So if I have similar uh, a similar uh, question uh, in quiz asking to drive the relationship between the input and output, so this is the way that you would drive it.